Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Okay. Cut the tape. So, it's ladies' night tonight. We have... Autobot Lancer, we have Nightbird, and we have Sage Greenlight. So we got a couple, a couple ladies we want to introduce the fellas to. However, I found something, something very small, very unexpectedly. I was out in the Barbie section at the Walmart, looking, looking with my daughter for clothes for her Barbies. Now I try to teach my kids to play in all the aisles of all the color spectrums. You have your, your pinks, your whites, but then you get into the boys toys and it's more technicolors, right? So my daughter's got, they have He-Man, they've got some Thundercats, Transformers, Barbies, they love Descendants, Iron Man, Spider-Man, for some reason Casey really, really, really wanted Ant-Man for Christmas last year. So she got an Ant-Man. So we're, we're out in the Barbie section looking for, for some clothes, for some dolls. And I find this, Hershey's Kisses Transformers. It was on the side of an MCAP. They had My Little Pony Hershey Kisses and then they had Transformers Hershey Kisses, but this is like a blind box, right? And there's two figures, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. You know, now that I, I got three, now that I look at them, they all say BB on them. So I'm betting these are all Bumblebee. So let's just open this up real quick. I didn't, I didn't know about these. I didn't know these existed. But they're Hershey's Kisses brand Treasure Surprise Collect All Five. So there, there's potentially for five Transformers now. These were two bits of pop. It was a happy little surprise today. Let's see what's inside. Now, uh, most things from Hasbro that come blind packed um, have an identification number on them. The reason being because Hasbro is based in Rhode Island and Rhode Island has a very specific lottery law. So you have to have a code on the blind packs. So I just slipped this off. All right, and it's a clamshell. Let's open it up, yup. I got BB, and I got four Hershey's Kisses. It's really weird how they're packed. I guess that's for to keep them good for a, a while. Anyway, I got a little, like, it's kind of Cyberverse Bumblebee. It's kind of generic style guide Bumblebee. It's a little, little Bumblebee slug. There he is, little, little paint. That's so tiny, you can't even. No paint apps on the back. So that's interesting. I'm gonna open up another one. Let's see if there's anything on. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So you got Grimlock, Bumblebee, Optimus, Starscream, and Megatron. I had no idea these existed. This is weird. And then you got this cute little coffin thing. You know, you put your heroin in, whatever. Don't don't do heroin. Let's um, let's just shh. Let's just taste one of these. I guess it's edible. Now on the back here, all the codes are the same, but it says BB right here. 
right? So I'm wondering if that's a code. Only way to find out is if we cut another one open. This is our sealed one. I'm gonna go right there. Let's see what we see. No! Nice! I got a Megatron. Interesting. Most interesting. And the Megatron's like an amalgamation of like tank Megatron and like G1 Megatron. And he's got some unnecessary paint apps on the back. And at least he has his eyes painted. And that's cool. And he stands up by himself. So does Mumblebee. That's really cool. Put this in the uh, file cabinet of all the other paperwork. Like 20 years from now, who's going to have this? that comes with, like, who's gonna have a sealed one of these, right? At two bucks a pop, I'm on a mission to find them all now. Easy peasy. Let's move on to the girls. First one is Nightbird. Now this is one I've been waiting to open for a long time. Another War for Cybertron figure. This is a Combiner Wars figure. You know what? I did some drywalling on the other side of the room, right? And uh, you just you just gotta keep your your tools clean. You gotta keep your tools clean, and when you can't do that, it's always good to get another blade. Here we go. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Oh man, there is quite the ruckus in my house today. There is just so much noise going on. Uh, all right, that. Like, there we go. Fresh new blade. Oh. So much nicer. All right, here she is. Nightbird. Nightbird was originally a character that showed up in one episode of G1. All right, come on down. Just close the door behind you. So I was wrong. Well, I was right and I was wrong. I said Night Racer was a Combiner Wars figure. It's based off of a Combiner Wars figure, but it's a heavily retooled Combiner Wars figure. This is the standard female Chromia, Moon Racer, RC, Alita One figure. It just comes over and over and over again. Hey, it's ladies night, so. Why don't you come down here, Maddie? Look, let's lo let's see your tooth. Open your mouth. Ah, look at that. She lost the fight with a Velociraptor. Daddy. Here, hold that. Do you know baby tooth can can look like um, a grown-up tooth? Yes. Do you know that that you're born with all your grown-up teeth inside your mouth already? Oh. Yeah, it's really weird. Anyway, Nightbird. This is Nightbird. So she comes with like the standard long rifle. It's got the muzzle on it. And Can I build her? Watch, I'm gonna show you what we do. So you just plug in the pegs, right? And then you can take her short little automatic auto fire, rapid fire weapon. And you make a long rifle or you can put these on the side of her or whatever. Whatever you choose to do. Five millimeter port for hands. Ooh, what is that? Night racer. What is that? And she has no combiner parts. So she, you know, I wonder if you can take it and use it as a combiner. Okay. All right, here. Why don't you try? All right. So night racer. Look, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what happens with her. 
Okay. Just watch, just watch. Night, Night Bird. Night Racer was a character from somewhere else that I kept trying to bring back and no one's like, oh, what, oh, Raksha's gonna get bad. It's an homage. Can I turn on again? Yeah, watch, watch. Oh, wait, 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 stand over here. Stand over here. You're, everybody wants to see Daddy's handsome face, right? You're you're in the way of, of that. I, we can't have that. That's no bueno. No bueno. Are you going to shave your beard into, like, on this part of your beard? You can, like, shave it into, like, you can, like, um, you can, like, do art on your beard of your shaver. Don't shave the whole thing. You can just shave um, it into, like, baby. Um, I don't know what you said. I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. I have no idea what you said. I should shave my beard, not all of it, so that I don't look like a baby. <laughs> no, that's not what you do. Yeah, I'm not shaving my beard anytime soon. Why? Simple little bit of pressure just knocks off the hood. Daddy, but uh, this is my first time. Do you know some guys um, wear their hair into a ponytail? Yes. And some guys have long beards all the way right here. Yeah, not, nothing's wrong with having a ponytail if you have a luscious head of hair. Now, if you're balding like Daddy and you have a ponytail in the back, that's weird. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> weird. Yeah. Greg. Anyway. So, here we go. Nightbird. It's pretty cool. You don't often get an all-black figure. This is pretty black. There's Wait, a little Daddy, bit of purple. Can I put on this in this hole? Yes, you can. Oh. Yeah, that's how that works. All right, stand right there. Stand right there. You're going to hold her, and I'm going to show you. Look, I'm actually, I'm going to have my six-year-old cut the tape. So this is a knife, right? Can you tell them I, I just turned six? I, everybody knows you're six now, all right? This is going live to millions and mil millions of people are watching us right now. All right, so this is a knife. What did I tell you about this? Don't touch this part. Right, it's not a toy. Right, you never cut towards yourself. You always cut towards your enemy. I know. All right, so Autobot Lancer. This is a, this is a good girl, right? You're gonna take the knife. I know. Watch. You're gonna put it in here. I know. And then boom. And I'll take the knife. Now come in front of the camera Are you and open, open this. One yeah, open it. Well, yeah, just open this one. And myself. Yes. Oh. And there she is, Autobot Lancer. So this one is a Combiner Wars figure. Yeah, it's a Combiner here. Can you hold her? Hold that. Just hold that. I want to double check because, yeah, so Nightbird. Can I take her out? Uh, yeah, hang on a second. With the knife? It's Siege, right? It's Siege. But I guess you it's not it? a Combiner Wars figure because who would she combine with, right? Because she's a Decepticon. I know. Right, I know you know. Yeah. I know, I know, I know you know. Okay. So, let's take out Lancer, all right? Can I do that? Hey, can you stand over here? Stand over here, look, yeah, face that way. That's how you do it. All right, now, hang on. I'm gonna show you what you do. See these plastic strips? You're gonna cut those, right? So take one hand. You know, you don't wanna cut towards the figure, right? because you can scratch the figure and we don't want to do that, right? Stand, stand right here, stand right here. See, when you turn your back to the camera, that's that, that doesn't work. Hang on a second, hang on a second. All right, hang on a second, what does that mean? That means wait, right? It means patience. So when someone has a knife out, you don't go sticking your hand in there, all right? That's why when we do our knife fighting, Right? I put my knife down, I step out of the box, I remove my knife, I sheathe my knife, then you step into the box, you take your knife, unsheathe your knife, 
and then you do your kata. All right. All right, so why don't you pull the figure out. All right, there she is. Why don't you pull out the weapon and the combiner part? All right, now this is the pretty uh, uh, generic Autobot uh, uh, pulse box, right? So you'll notice even though Nightbird's Decepticon, it's the same box, right? Just the stickers are different. Okay, so that's uh, that's what's look, happening. If you look closely, there's like blue lines. Okay, right. I, oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes. Cool. Yes. There are some, there are some minor detailing on that. Right. So we have a combiner wars fist. This is the upgraded fist Did where you can, this turns into a hand. It yeah. See now it's a hand. That's you got, cool. you got your, your fingers there. You got your thumb and then some animals have an extra thumb. So transformers have an extra thumb sometimes, but here is Autobot Lancer right she's a good okay bye so, <laughs> all right so she does have the combiner port night racer does not but they're basically Wait, is the, she turn on now? yeah that's that's why they're called transformers because they they transform well, some don't. Yeah, I, I know. Did There's you, a big debate about, you know, whether those are Transformers or not. I, did you um, take the daddy pile? I, I did not take the daddy pile yet. So Maddie cleaned out her room yesterday, and you were up until... Uh, 2.30? Your mom went to bed at 3.00? for some reason and you know, uh, Caddy, I, I'm small. yeah okay and um, she emptied out a bunch of toys that she wants to put down here in the basement so here you go she turns into a phallus symbol right that you know what you know what Maddie here I just opened this candy and I want you to go share it with your sister high five all right, go share it with your sister. Excellent. I'll come right down. Yeah, take your time. Okay. Two bucks. Parenting at its best. So here we are. Here we are. It's ladies' night. Now, finally, we got War for Cybertron Trilogy. We got the Lux Class Autobot Green Light. And she comes with Dazzle Strike. The one figure we keep getting remolded or repainted over and over and over again, which is, I guess, is perfect why it comes with her, right? Again, you have the female generic body, has the combiner piece in it. Uh, where are we going? There's just like... Alright, let me ask you something. Some straight talk right now. If you pay someone to come clean your house, do you clean your house the day before so that the person that's paid to come clean your house doesn't think your house is dirty? Because I know someone who does that. And I'm wondering why am I paying some other lady to clean a house that you just cleaned? I'm just... Please email me your thoughts at cutthetape at tftalk.net. I'm, I'm eager to see what, what all of our millions of listeners around the world are thinking. Can anyone subscribe to you on your channels? Does anyone subscribe to my channels? Um, 
So, green light, right here. Here is she is. Girl? That's another girl, it's ladies night. So we got Lancer, we got Night Racer, and we've got Autobot green light. Now the question is, here, why don't you hold her? Why don't you try and transform her? Stand right there, don't move. Try and transform her. Hold her up, right there. Hold her up so everyone can see her. This one, uh, who's, who's this one called now? Dazzle Strike. I, I, you gotta believe that would have a name like Dazzle Strike. Th this, this one's also a girl. Female. It, I mean, am I wrong for thinking that? Dazzle Strike. It's. It sounds like a fierce pony. Like, I don't know anything about My Little Pony. I know a lot of transformed people are into My Little Pony, and that's cool. Hey, man, you're into whatever you're into. Own it. But it kind of sounds like if there was, like, a warrior pony, like a unicorn pony, uh, that girl would be called Dazzle Strike. Am I called? Oh, look at that. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> We're really close. Well, so watch, right? This, you take this, and you can plug her into another figure so that she can transform and combine with another character to become an even bigger robot. Oh, and I want to show something. Well, hang on a second, because we're going to, we're, we're, you know, we got to show this. No, it's not right? in the base. I, I know. Well, let's hang on a second. Let's just finish showing this. Okay, so the joint, so I will say, even though this mold's been used a million times, the joints on this one are particularly tight. I like that. I love it when the joints are tight. I love it when the joints are tight. Now, um, I wonder if this character... If this was a flavor, what do you think this would be? Spearmint? I think it would be mint green. Yeah, okay. What about this one? Um, Halloween lollipop. Halloween lollipop. I, I say caramel. Caramel and like licorice. But here, here we go. Can I go get it now? You stay here. So, yeah, um, go get these things. Treasure surprise, I like that. That was, that was cool, I liked it, I liked it. I'm working a lot on my basement. I'm up to 40 display cases, 40 glass cases. I just got another case for free. The best place to check for cases, Craigslist, Facebook. Uh, I've set up my pegboards already, so I got that done. I have set up the Great Wall. Let's go on a little tour. So there's a pegboard on this side, and on the other side of the stairs, there's another pegboard that has... Um... Oh, Maddie wants to show us something. This guy can spawn. No, he cannot. That is slag. I have on um, some... Did you take him out of the case? Well, because I you... on um, four. Oh, Okay, because you know we're not allowed to take stuff out of the glass cases. I know. Okay, all right. So, let's take a quick look up there. I'm building my trench run for Star Wars. Why do you need lots of parts? Uh, Can you show them around? No, because it's not done yet. No. Uh, we have a lot of cases back here, but we still have to uh, put the lights in them. There's actually lights in that case. Um... I guess this is the junior wall. This is all movie stuff. Uh, this case has lights, but I haven't painted it yet. Uh, this is the Beast Wars, Beast Machines case. These are actually from uh, Toy Fair, those signs. And as I said, this is what I call the Great Wall. Uh, those cases do illuminate. Uh, the button's all the way in the corner. I wasn't planning on giving a little tour uh, thank you. Uh, over here is what I call the, uh, the annex. And, uh, 
We actually have another smaller pegboard wall. Oh, yeah. And then um, this is the other side of where I usually sit. Um, you can see the true builder case behind me. And uh, back there is what I call uh, Teletran 1. It's got all the G1 stuff in it. So, uh, yeah, Beast Wars. Uh, you might notice that the doors are taped. I don't want sunlight getting in, but I'm also having uh, stained glass built for those doors. So eventually the doors will be black and in the middle there'll be stained glass, which is nice because the chickens are on the other side of that door. Um, yeah, hang on a second. So uh, that's it, I guess. Uh, we'll just come over here real quick and uh, show you this. Uh, it's all the reissues and stuff like that and goes all the way. We're, we're very fortunate that we have uh, 11 foot tall ceilings here in the basement. So uh, thank you for watching. Check out all the shows on the TF Talk Network. And um, if you've got kids, good luck. Good luck with school. Wash your hands and vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for, just telling you to vote.